How to Win Friends and Influence People Summary Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing how to win friends and influence people summary in under 5 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe for a new book summary every day. But for now, let's get started. Lesson 1, a simple smile is all it takes for you to make a great impression. There's that famous quote about how actions speak louder than words because in the way we act we truly show whether we follow through on our intentions, instead of just stating them. The easiest action you can take to make others instantly like you then, is to smile. Just like we all tear up when a baby laughs or smiles at us, or feel a rush of endorphins from seeing a dog wag its tail in our presence, we can't help but feel affection towards someone who smiles at us. Now imagine a smile being the first thing you see the first time you meet someone and shake their hand of course you're going to like them. More than half of our communication is based on body language, so a smile versus a frown can make the difference between making a new friend or selling a car and striking out. What's more, smiling isn't a one-way road, it helps you directly too. By consciously smiling you'll generate positive feelings by accident just like positive feelings can cause you to smile without meaning to. So the next time you meet someone new, turn that frown upside down and smile as you shake their hand. Lesson 2, you can be interesting to others by getting them to talk about themselves. What's everyone's favorite topic? The weather. Nope. Themselves. We all love people who listen to us for hours and as we hitter on and on about our own lives. People always think to be interesting you have to share many fascinating stories and constantly talk about your accomplishments. That couldn't be more wrong. You don't even have to talk to be interesting. Humans are naturally self-centered, we are our own biggest interest, and boy do we get excited if we meet someone who shares that interest. Give other people your full attention, don't interrupt them, be genuinely interested, ask follow-up questions. Don't rant about yourself and, most importantly, listen. You will be amazed at how many people will say things like this about you. That it guy was so great to talk to, what an interesting person. If you want to go one step further, you can do what Teddy Roosevelt did, and even prepare yourself before you meet someone by researching them online and trying to pick two to three of their favorite topics, which you can then address and get them to talk about. Lesson 3, in order to convince people, you have to get them to say yes a lot. Dale Carnegie has three steps to help you convince people, the premise of all of them being that they don't know you're trying to change their mind. We hardly defend anything as strongly as our own opinions, so the second we're onto someone trying to win us over, it's a hopeless cause. Unless you've spilled the milk already, here are three steps to help you succeed. 1. Be nice. Do the above. Smile. Listen. Be polite and patient, that's the basis of any successful persuasion and for that matter, should be the basis of any conversation. To make it clear you have the same goals. Your conversation partner must believe you share the same interests and vision, so emphasize that by talking about the interests you actually share. They have to know you're really on their side and want what's best for them, which you hopefully are anyway. 3. Ask them lots of small questions that they answer with yes. Once you're sure you're both on the same page, you can start laying out your arguments, but do it by asking questions your partner can answer with yes as much as possible. Then, when you make your final point, you're more likely to get a yes as well. The idea behind this approach, called the Socratic method, is that the probability of a final yes goes up with every yes you get before. This is due to the human consistency bias we want he to be consistent in our actions, so we're unlikely to break a long chain of yeses. How to win friends and influence people review. I could easily have summarized every single blink in this summary, such a good one. The tips are incredibly simple, which is why they are so powerful. All of them you can start applying right now, as how to win friends and influence people carries a strong message of be the change you want to see in the world. This book uses less scientific language than Chaldei's influence, for example, which makes it a light, but recommended read. What else can you learn from the blinks? 1. How Abraham Lincoln learned to never criticize others the hard way, swords involved. 
2. Why thank you and sorry will help you call in favors. 3. What Dale Carnegie said to a board employee to brighten his day and show his appreciation and why that's the golden rule. 4. The simplest trick you can use to show others you care. 5. How many arguments you should engage in and why, hint, it's less than one. 6. Which language to use when others are wrong. 7. What to do differently when you yourself are wrong. Who would I recommend the how to win friends and influence people summary to? The 14 year old who just got a paper route, and now has to talk to a lot of people. The 27 year old girl who usually spends a lot of time on dates talking about herself, and anyone whose job involves selling something. That was how to win friends and influence people summary. For more summaries do subscribe to my channel and comment below the book you want me to make summary of. See you in the next video, till then, goodbye.